Aleluya. Aleluya. Blessed be in the name of the living God. Amen. I greet everyone in the mighty name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I believe we are all happy to be back in the house of the living God. Hallelujah. I want to take the song Riyabalivua Kiev.
kuona vamuzimu wari ine muzimu wa muzimu ore one more time ria vale Savior Jesus Christ. Amen. I hope we are happy this evening to be in the house of the Lord. Amen. Let us bow our heads as we open this service with a word of prayer. Let's pray together. Our gracious Heavenly Father, 
Dear Lord, we come before your throne this evening with thanksgiving in our hearts, with worship and praise. Lord, we want to thank you, Father, tonight to get this hour together like this, O oh God, in one accord, singing these songs, praising you, God, from within. This opportunity, Father, tonight, we deem it a great privilege. We know that there's no other better place where we can be tonight other than this place. Father, we worship you tonight. We give you honor. We give you praise. You are a holy God. There is no one like you. Father, when you open, no man can close. When you close, no man can open. Almighty God, you are the beginning. You are the end. Father, we worship you with all our hearts. We glorify you. There's no one like you, even you on earth, Father. Lord, you are the one who loved us before the foundation of the world. Here tonight, we want to project that love back to you. We want to respond to your love, mighty God. We ask that, Father, as we are here to worship you, may you be with us tonight. We know that worship is not worship unless the one who is worshipped accept it. Mighty God, may you accept our worship as we sing these songs of worship. May you accept us in your holy presence. We pray, mighty Father, may your Holy Spirit be with us. Lord, may your Spirit come and be with us here in this service. Come and touch each and every heart. Come and prepare each and every soul in our hearts. We pray tonight, we commit all, we dedicate the service into your hands, mighty Father. Even those that are live streaming in different places, oh God, may they have a blessed service tonight. We pray that may you be with each and every one of us, those who are far and those who are here in the tabernacle, that, oh God, each and, one, each and every one of us might say at the end of the service, did not our hearts burn when he's talking to us along the way? May our hearts be changed tonight. May hearts be transformed. We pray, mighty Father, may you help us, oh God, to arise and possess our inheritance. Help us, oh God, to know as we were already known. In the name of Jesus Christ, we commit all into all hands, even the proceedings of the service. In Jesus' name, we thank you. Amen.
But the Lord brought me out If it had not been for Jesus Where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord brought me out I'm so glad that the Lord brought me out I'm so glad that the Lord brought me out If it had not been for Jesus I'm so glad that the Lord brought me out. I'm so glad that the Lord brought me out. I'm so glad that the Lord brought me out. If he did for Jesus, oh, where would I be? I'm so glad that the Lord brought me out. I've been happy since the Lord brought me out. I've been happy since the Lord brought me out. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? I've been singing since the Lord brought me out. I've been singing since the Lord brought me out. If it had not been for Jesus, oh, where would I be? I've been singing since the Lord brought me out. Aren't you glad that the Lord brought you out? Aren't you glad that the Lord brought you out? If it had not been for Jesus, where would you be? Aren't you glad? One more time. Aren't you glad the Lord you are? Aren't you glad that the Lord brought you out? If it had not been for Jesus, oh, where would you be? Aren't you happy? I've been shouting since the Lord brought me out. I've been shouting since the Lord brought me out. If it had not been for Jesus, where would I be? Shouting since the Lord. So glad that the Lord brought me out. Hallelujah. You can take this song. Got any rivers G, which you think uncrossable? Got any mountain which you can turn it to? G. Be of good courage. The Lord spoke to Joshua, where all the river got pointed the way. Jordan uncrossable, things seemed impossible. Waters divided the mountain. 
any rivers, God, any river, you think and cross, brother, God, any mountain, you can't turn it through, any river, Of good courage. And to Joshua. Where all? Where all the river God pointed the way. Jordan and Crossable. What has divided? And he will do. God is the same. God is the same and he's wet. He's dependent. He will make a way. Life situation. Mountains and hills. Oh, any rivers, God, any river. You think I'm Brother, brother, God, any You can't turn it through. God specializes. Think thought and possible. Do what the power can do. Hallelujah. Let's just give a mighty hand of praise unto the Lord. God specializes in things thought impossible. Hallelujah. Let's take he abides. F sharp, he abides. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the pilgrim way for the hand of God in all my life I say and the reason of my play yes the sacred all is there that the comforter abides with me. He abides. He abides. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. He abides with me. I'm rejoicing. I'm rejoicing night and day as I walk the narrow way for the comfort abide with. Once my heart was full of sin, my heart was full of sin. Once I had no peace with thee. Till I had our Jesus died upon the tree. Then I fell down at his feet. Then I fell down at his feet. And there came a peace. And there came a peace so sweet. Now they can fall apart with me. He abode. Hallelujah, Hallelujah, 
Hallelujah. Mine, mine, mine. Jesus is mine. E. Mine, mine, mine. They'll be taking the offering today. Is mine, 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 mine. Jesus is mine. Jesus is my savior. Day by day. My, 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 Jesus. My, 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 Jesus. Oh, my, 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 is my, Jesus is my Savior. Day by day. My, 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 oh, Jesus. Oh, my, 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 my. Jesus, oh, Jesus, my, 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 Jesus is mine. Jesus is my Savior. By day, oh, Jesus, oh, my, 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 Jesus, oh. By day, my, 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 oh, Jesus, oh, my, 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 Jesus, oh, my, 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 Jesus is my, Jesus is my Savior, day by day. Praise God. Let's bow our heads as we pray for the offering and the tithe. Dear God, we come back once again before you, God. Before us, there is tithe and offering. We present them before you, mighty God. May you bless them, mighty Father. And as those who gave, O oh God, open the doors of heaven, Lord. Blessings may they be showered upon their lives. And those who fail to give tonight, God, open the doors that they can have something to come into the house of the Lord and give. In the name of Jesus, we commit all into you. In Jesus' name, amen. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. And live in. Eh? Have a message from the Lord. The message unto you and is recorded in his word. Jesus Christ 
reject our prayer. Praying makes us stronger. I have never seen the righteous forsaken, begging and left to
place in him.
when I shake the hands, when I shake the hands of those gone on before me, I can still feel the same tender hand that's carried. Praise the Lord. I'm looking ahead to that glorious city. Amen. One day the song, I'll be somewhere listening for my name. Hallelujah. D. When the Savior calls, I will answer. When calls for me I will hear when they say I will answer I'll be somewhere listening for my for my name, I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere, somewhere listening. Arte para ter corris somewhere. Oh, listening. I'll be somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere, somewhere listening. I'll be somewhere listening for my name. If my robe is white, if my robe is white, when he calls. My robe is white. When he calls me, be somewhere listening for my name.
the ministry of a former age. According to 
your promises. In your promises. I can stand secure. I can stand secure. Now upon my heart. Upon my heart. The truth that sets me free. According to your promises, according to your promises, be it unto me. Together, be it unto me. Be it unto me. Yes, according to your. That sets me free. The truth that sets me free. Let's sing together. According to your promises, be it unto me. One more time. Be it unto me. Be it unto me. According to your promises. I'll sing and say, Thy will be done in my heart. Oh, Thy will be done in my heart. Let's 
let's sing together and say, Dear Lord, I hear you calling me. Dear Lord, I hear you calling me into a deeper You're calling me into a deeper life. Ooh, away from all my doubts and fears away from all my strife and through and through the noises around me I can hear your still small me how I must spend my time. Teach me how I must spend my time as the days roll on. Lord, I need to know I'm growing with the breaking of each storm. In the wonderful name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. How many are happy to be in divine presence? Praise God. We certainly deem it a grand privilege to be gathered in this fashion. And I firmly believe that um, something good is in store. Each time we assemble in this fashion, there is no way we can go back empty handed. I'd like to salute the invisible audience. Say, may the Lord richly bless you. We'd like to open this service with a word of prayer. And we want to remember the Gonyama family. Uh, the brother is not feeling well. He's asking for prayers. He's been having a headache since yesterday. And he says he believes that God is able to do something for him. And then Sister Ngunyama is also experiencing weakness in her body for a while. 
and the throat is painful. They both believe that God is able to heal them. How many can believe with them tonight? If you also have got a request upon your heart, don't hesitate to raise your hand to the Lord. He's more than able to do exceedingly abundantly above all we can ever ask or think. Pray. Our Heavenly Father, kind and generous, we bow before your throne, your throne of grace in humble adoration, worshiping you as the King of kings and Lord of lords, as the one whose eyes is upon the sparrow and can never leave us or forsake us. You spoke in your word that you cared for us. You spoke in your word you're not willing that any man should perish but that all should come to repentance. You spoke in your word you've got plans for us plans to prosper us to give us a future and a joyful end. Your word is clear when it comes to your bride that even half of your kingdom is said you are able to give to your bride. And Lord, it gives us confidence to come in your presence because we know we are not coming to a stranger but we are coming to a God whose arms are wide open whose ear is attentive to our petition, whose heart always beats for us. And Father, knowing that we are the apple of your eye, it gives us that ability to stand in the midst of any opposition. For we know nothing can touch us before it passes through you. That's why in this end time you have raised up a standard to combat every wicked scheme of darkness that can come in. Father, that surety and guarantee stabilizes us in some way, makes us different from within, gives us a peace of mind. We may not be much to look at. We may not be much according to the worldly standards. But because of this assurance that you have given to us, which assurance we know it cannot fail, makes us feel special. And thank you for that. And taking advantage of that access, we are here to present our petitions our lives and our conditions, hands raised all across the building in the invisible audience. Even my hand is raised. We are raising these hands not to a man or one another, but we raise our hands unto you because you care and you're mindful. Said, come ye all that are laboring and are heavily laden. I, I will give you rest. May you supply from your riches and glory whatever your children have need of. The Ngonyama family, we pray, O oh God, for a move of the Holy Ghost to bring healing and stability both upon the brother and the sister. Take away every element, whatever the source, we don't mind. We just know you are more than able and you're powerful than any condition that can come in our way. And by one faith, we declare and make a decree that all is well. We dismiss that gloominess that is brought by the enemy. 
And may your joy and your bliss take over their home. All the hands that are raised, kindly undertake for the sick. Kindly undertake for the troubled. Kindly undertake for the needy. Kindly undertake for anybody, Lord, who needs your Holy Ghost in whatever situation that they may be going through. Even all across the invisible audience, perform a paradox. Somebody came here praying, fasting, trusting, and hoping God for a miracle. Oh God, I pray that you do something real, something true for your honor. Oh, we really love you. Forgive all sins and trespasses, things committed in our thoughts, words, and our actions, things done consciously and unconsciously. Let your blood stand as a propitiation to atone even for your own, that we can stand acceptable before your throne. That is our desire. That after all is said and done, walk out of this building different people, having had a special touch from Almighty God. We appreciate the songs of Zion and the atmosphere that's been prepared. Take us further, we pray, even for your grace and your glory. We ask it in Jesus' name. And everybody say Amen. Praise God. As we give a hand of praise. Shall we temporarily take our seats? We want to greet you once more. In the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. We are delighted to be back. I was not with you. Um, over the weekend we had gone for a funeral there at Mapila and um, by God's grace we ended up uh, landing in Lipalale that's where we spent our weekend we had a service on Saturday night and uh, Sunday morning and uh, the saints there send their greetings to you by the grace of God and uh, we want to salute the brothers whose, whose brothers who are always ready to stand in the gap we had um, our precious brother Freddy who was preaching for us. How many enjoyed Sunday service? Praise be to God. We want to thank God for our local ministers. How they stand to Further the progression of revelation lifting the hands of the ministry. Praise be to God. And um, for that reason, we want to always be supportive in prayers and whatever way that you can. That they may be kept standing where they are supposed to stand. Is a right? Praise be to God. So, tonight, I'm having a thought that we just want to talk about. Uh, brothers, I don't know if you can connect me. Alright, looks like I'm on. Praise the Lord. All right. Um, in such a season, 
Um, I'm seeing people are coming to a place of appreciating the value of worship. And you are stepping in more attentive to God's voice. More attentive, right? Eh? Then you are coming with a, with an attitude to yield to the Holy Ghost. Recognizing that you ought to be swift to hear. Slow to speak and slow to wrath. Is it right? Then um, in the midst of all that, we must step from being hearers to doers. That all these things that we are surrounded by, the word, the revelation, the encouragement, we shouldn't rest until we see it material in our very beings. Once that word is material, that is what vindicates the source of our inspiration. As it transcends the dimension of intellectualism through the humanistic realm, but you know, touching your soul. Making the word of our day live. Praise be to God. Do I have a witness tonight? One that is saying this word must be material. It must live. Praise the Lord. So I want to invite your attention. Uh, maybe before we do that, we want to try this song, Believing in Hope Against Hope. Not, not sight. Is it right? And now the seventh dove again. He is a When the doctor said I even when the doctor said he could never, never ever be his friend in God to the test of time six inches trial was made then one morning Every purpose, there is time and judgment. Therefore, the misery of man is great. To every purpose, there is a time. To every purpose, there is a time. Now, the moment you understand that, you're going to make the devil and these demons run out of business. Because the enemy always exploits upon the impatience of believers. Their doubt upon the promises of God. That's why I requested the song Believing in Hope 
against hope. Because the song is showing us how Abraham waited for his season. Not somebody else's season. That's why the doctors told him it could not be done. Why? Because according to the season of medical science, he had passed the stage of childbearing. But they didn't realize to every purpose there is a time. And our purpose is not the same. And if our purpose is not the same, it means our time will definitely not be the same. Now, as much as a child would have to pass through nine months in the belly of the mother, the womb of the mother, it's a principle that governs all men. And there is also a principle that governs the purpose of every man. And that principle is applicable to every individual life the same way as the universal principle of childbearing applies to all of us. Do you get what I'm saying? According to your purpose and according to your calling, there are seasons and there are times. Can I say that again? Your purpose as an individual, there is a season and a time for everything. That's why we don't all get married the same time. We don't get jobs the same time. We don't get children the same time. We can't buy cars the same time. Because to every purpose, there is a time. And as much as we have different purposes, then we must accept our season according to the purpose we were called unto this life. And once you come to that place in your life, you are never going to be jealous because jealous is a product of comparison. You're comparing yourself with another man, another woman, another family, but you fail to realize you're called different and your purpose is not the same. So we cannot operate under the same trajectory or the same wavelength because we are different. Can somebody say amen? God cannot give me money to buy a jersey. If I'm living in the Sahara Desert, where we barely have cold weather, it's just hot. But if I'm staying in the North Pole, then, then, then God can bless me with something that I can buy warm things. <laughs> it's according to the purpose. It's according to my location. It's according to my calling. And it's according to my need. You, you get the point? Yeah? I'll give you a very good example. To say, let's say you are a stingy man or a stingy woman. There is no reason for God to bless you with more. Because you don't have the, 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 the desire to give. <laughs> you get the point. So he deprives you so that you won't have anything to deprive others. Can I bring that back again? He can't give you more than enough when you cannot share 
what you have. But when another person is having a giving heart and can share everything, God can easily bless that one. Why? Because his purpose is to extend his hand to that man, that woman, and that person. So the way that God operates and the season he works with that particular individual may not be the same with everybody else. Because for every purpose, there's a time. Can somebody say amen? Abraham was the father of faith. Why? Because he waited for a promise. And that promise was in line with the purpose that God had raised him for. His purpose was to be the father of faith. And he got his child after 25 years. That was suitable for a father of faith. A man whose life would be an example for all generations. Then God had to bring him through that. So Abraham could not look at the next person. Stand and say, but it cannot be that. Because that person had this. And that person had that. I can look at my life. You can look at your life. You can look at your purpose. You can look at your calling. Whatever that you go through in life, it's relevant to your purpose and your calling. Because God knew one day I'll lead a people like you. Then there are certain things that are to come in a certain way. And they're to take certain time. You get the point. So that I can be equipped for the purpose that he has raised me unto. And the same applies with each and every one of us. That uniqueness and peculiarity. Praise be to God. Is what defines us in the eyes of God and in the eyes of men. Can somebody say Amen? You know, once you come to this, Satan will run out of business. Because when you are content with your condition because of the knowledge that God's word cannot fail, the devil cannot do anything. It's like a person who wants to create a loophole break oneness that's amongst people. He tries to look at condition. It's, it's a circumstance. Because many times you're wasting the people around you. They must be harvested in your experiences because it was put thus by God. Look at us. Our background different. don't have parents. Others have parents. Some have single parents. Others, you know, are poor. Some are rich. All of us, when God think anything else and say, well, the prophet may be Maybe it was wrong or it couldn't happen in this day. Look almost in your life. We'll use vessels. And some of the vessels are people that are close to you. Or yourself. Like in the case of Moses. 
Papa says, look at how simple it was. Instruments to fulfill it. And that's why he is with us. And people are was this. You get the point. You can take the same man who has a church of five million, of five hundred thousand. They won't even fish one. Because it's not about a man. It's the purpose. It's what God wants done. So he's with Moses because he wants to fulfill his purpose. And the purpose is different with every man. He's with me according to the purpose he wants me to accomplish. He's with you according to the purpose he wants you to accomplish. And he equips us relevantly. And we must accept to every purpose there is a time. Now, how can we rest? No matter how, what the circumstances is, or what anyone else says, God is going to do it anyhow. Because he promised to do it. And he does it so simple that he, it goes over the understanding of the cultured mind. You, you get the point. Who, who tried to reason about it? Now, how could it be? I don't mean to say that a man now with men won't understand it. That's all right. Wonderful as long as he uses that, not to reason, but that culture that is God to believe God. Let it be converted into the simplicity of listening to what God has said and believe it. His culture will help him there. Hey, Promise that you come out the time you want. Stay there until the time comes. He will take you out of the pit without even... But many come to church, but they cannot embrace God's time and purpose over their lives. He's giving my child chocolates, trying to make him happy and make him smile. But I've grounded him. Punishment. Punishment. Yes. To say he's not supposed to eat that. He must stay and sit in that corner until he learns his lesson that he doesn't do one, two, three. So when he sits there at that corner, without good either, for me it's good because he's learning a lesson. But another brother comes out of the spirit. So I put on a smile. Michael smile. What's wrong? Here is a chocolate. Ah, let's play, Mike. You're doing good to him in the eyes of others. But in my eye, as the father, you're disrupting the process. So everybody is in a process. And God is the head of every process. Every man, every woman, every background, every believer, we are all in a process. And God is dealing with us independently to every purpose there is a time. But somebody without the understanding wants to come and give counseling to a person that God is disciplining. God won't be happy with that. Notice. Let it be converted into his, the simplicity of listening to God and what he said and believe it. I read it, right? Now, notice. Babo. But when a man tries to reason, Musi it couldn't be done. Then it drives him away from God. Constantly all the time. When he's trying to listen to his own understanding. If you don't understand, if you don't understand, and the Bible says a certain thing, 
Just punctuate it with an amen. Just let it go like that. So there are many things that you're not going to understand. But God expects you to say amen. In pain, (laughs) in rejection, in fear, in trouble, God still expects you to say amen. Next quote, brother. Are we together? Brother Branham says, this is my last quote. Pay attention. I'm glad, or I'm so glad, of the Eden Conference. Eden Conference. Eden, Eden. He made a way a preparation a way to take away sin. He made a way that could that you could come back again. Be brought back into fellowship. Where you would be lost and standing out somewhere and done without God. But the prophet is saying there was a conference. I like that and understand it clearly. There was a conference for the sin question and it settled it. It settled it. That conference. Make sense? He said God made a preparation at this conference. He made just a preparation temporarily until the real preparation would be given through the sacrificial life of Christ. He spoke that it would do that. But between the time the lamp had to die until the lamp of God came that was to bruise the serpent's head and his head to bruise his heel until Calvary. That conference was successful. I like that. Oh, it it, it will beat Satan anyway. (laughs) This one. Are you getting it? God's word will defeat Satan any place. Any time. On any condition. Though your sins be a scarlet. Are you hearing this issue? There's a conference. When you talk about a conference. Look at Job. I suppose Barbara Branham will comment on him as well. There was a conference about Job's life. And everything was settled there. You see the point? So, whatever that happened in his life, it was directly aligned to that conference between God and Satan. That Job will not die. He will only be tested for a purpose. For a season. So everything was in the conference. The conference was determining everything that was happening. And allow me to say, as much as there was a conference for Job, there was a conference for every believer that is there. And that's where all things were settled. So, so stop quit comparing. Stop wasting time comparing yourself. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego. Their conference was different from Job's. Their conference was different from Daniel's. Joseph's conference that was made was not the same as the one of Jacob. Did you understand that? If you can grasp that, you are going to be steady in so many things. You said any conditions, Brother Branham. 
He's talking about the sins being forgiven. He says, any condition? That's exactly what it said. Though your sins be as scarlet, they shall be white like snow. Only thing I'm asking you to do, come to my prepared place, the altar. God made an altar. There is an altar. There is a place where you meet God. Come. Talk it over with me. I've got a place prepared. And a remedy for you. Like that. He said whatever condition. There was a conference. Whether you've killed. Whether you've aborted. Whether you've done anything. The conference was made. It was held. So if you can come to the altar, talk it over with him. It doesn't matter what it is. It can be settled. Satan can do nothing, brother. It's settled. A remedy for you. It started in Eden. The first conference. He made a preparation. The first emergency was called and God gave the answer to give the preparation. But people don't want to take the preparation somehow. But there was a first conference God held with men in the state of emergency. God made the decision. It isn't to us to make a decision what we should do. God makes the decision what to do. It was God that said, you must be born again. It wasn't the association of some denomination. It was God said that. And it was God that said, except you be born of water and spirit, you cannot see the kingdom of heaven. You've got to be born. That's God's remedy. That's what he decided when he brought the human race in his presence. There you are. If that ain't straight, I don't know it. That was his decision. The blood was the way. No fig leaves. Not any other kind of covering. But God's decision at God's conference for God's children was But God's decision at God's conference for God's children that was lost. The preparation was blood. He's been always, he, he has been, always has been blood. Has been and always has been. And always will be. You can stand pet on it. Pet on it. Like Job of old. On the burnt offering. They, they might accuse you of being this. That or the other. Holy roller or whatever they want to say. But as long as you are standing on that blood offering. Upon laying hands upon the head of Jesus Christ and confessing your sins and welcoming the Holy Spirit to you and it bearing record that he has received you, that, that's what God's decision was. I like that. No man can judge or condemn you if you come in line with the conference that was held. Such security. Such assurance. How many see that? He says, I'm so glad they had that conference. It settled sin forever when he had that conference. In the fullness of time, he sent his son, made in the image of sinful flesh, that taken the sins 
and deliver them that was under the blood of goats and sheep. Waiting for that time. And taking them into the presence of God. Oh, what a glorious thing. To know that conference was held. I'm glad. I know every Christian in here is glad. That conference taken place. And he said that was one conference. And then he begins to give other conferences. Let me bring this and say, to every purpose, there is a time. Your life is unique. Your life is peculiar. You need to believe God in spite of your circumstances. Knowing that there is a conference that was held independently about your life. Your passage in life, your trials in life, your experiences in life. You don't need anyone to feel pity for you. You need to trust God each and every step of the way. Because at the end of the day, what counts is not your comfort or men's satisfaction. It is the fulfillment of God's purpose. Because for every purpose, there is a time. So there will be a time for certain things to be the way you want. But you need to patiently wait upon the word of God with this knowledge that his word cannot fail no matter what, how long it may take. But if he has promised that it will come to pass. Are you part of the rapture? Are you supposed to experience a change of body? Did he promise that Christ to be born in your earth? Are you under expectation? Are you carrying a problem in your life? Have you tried sincerely like William Branham? For many years, you wanted deliverance. Here's your answer. Every situation, every problem is six inches long. It is not unto death. I see so full. But to every purpose, there is a time. Trust God in every situation. May the Lord bless you as the musicians come. Praise be to God. Blessed be the name of the Lord. How many love the Lord? To every purpose, there is a time. Wow, we are unique, friends. <laughs> we are unique. That's why some are short. Others are tall. Some are dark. Others are light. Others stammer. Others are eloquent. Some are calm. Others are jubilant and you know jovial. We are different. Some have bold heads. <laughs> Others they've got all their hair. We, we are different in every aspect of our life. Even our spiritual makeup. It is different. Trust God throughout the processes of life. You must learn to bear certain things. Living in want. Living in pain. Living in rejection. Living with questions and no answers. Living in prayer. But no answers. You need to bear. Patiently. Standing upon the word of God. Knowing that when the right time comes. There is nothing that will stand. Between you and God. Like a baby. When nine months expires. That child has to come out. No matter what. But before nine months, you can call all the doctors in the world. But that child will not come out of the tummy. Because it is not yet the time. Or somebody say, Amen. I want to talk to 
anybody who felt discouraged in life because of what they are going through. Number one, maybe you are looking at others. That's why you feel insufficient. Others are progressing. Others are, 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 are moving forward. And it seems like your life is stagnant. And nothing is happening. I'm here to tell you, to every purpose there is a time. Is that right? Whatever the condition, if you feel so low and say, Pastor, you don't understand what I'm going through. You don't understand. I've been praying for my child for so many years. But it's like God God's ears are closed. My child becomes worse. The more I pray, he becomes worse. Well, what does that mean? It means to every purpose. There is a time. When the right time comes, God will make all things beautiful. Not by might or by power. Not by your desperation or effort. But according to his purpose. And the season that has been ordained specifically for your life. Oh brother, some are coming out of trial when others are getting into them. Oh brother, that's how things go. Others are getting out. Others are about to step in. Some are already in the middle of a, of a trial. That, that's life, brother. But we all come to church and we still have to worship him. Those who are out of trial, those that are in trial and those that are about to step into trial God expects us to worship him the same we are his children we worship him the same one corner must not be crying when the other is rejoicing no we are one body we are passing through phases but we are, we are the same body that's why we are not supposed to come with our conditions and circumstances we allow the Holy Ghost we yield until the Holy Ghost inspires us how to worship Him. Do I have a witness tonight? Am I talking to somebody tonight? I want to pray with you. But you must understand to every purpose there is a time. No need to cry. No need to worry. There was a conference. Satan is defeated. It's, it's, it's a waste of time for the devil to fight. He was already defeated. Like Jonah, you, you cannot go back. You, even if you want to, the conference was made. You are born in this age. You are going to be a star that you shine for the glory of God. No matter what comes, you're going to be brighter and brighter. No man can dim that glory. You are going to glow even much more and influence many lives, but you have to accept you are part of the deliverance. Moses, I've heard the cry, I've heard the prayers of my people, I'm here to answer, but you have to go, Moses. You have to be part of it. I'll be with you. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. My never failing presence will break you up. That's what God is talking about. There's a purpose in this generation and this is the time for the sons and daughters of God to manifest. This is the season that everybody was waiting for. Prophets, kings, apostles, something great has to come to pass. And you are here in the third and final exodus where we must see men in a moment, in a twinkle of an eye raptured out of this world. And God is saying, you, I've heard the cry, I've heard the prayer, I'm yet to fulfill the promise. But you are part of it. You are part of it. With our heads bowed. Before you step into mystery. Before you step into this mystery. Come down. To your very life. In 
You are saying I'm getting old without being married. To every purpose. There is a time. I'm getting old without a child of my own. To every purpose. There is a time. I'm getting old without a decent job. To every purpose. There is a time. I'm getting old without being healed of my condition. I've been sick for years. It seems I'm still in the same place. To every purpose. There is a time. I'm getting old and I'm not reconciled with my loved ones. I've asked for forgiveness but they don't want to forgive me. I've done all that a man could do. I've humbled myself but it seems as if I can't be forgiven. I'm here to say to every purpose there is a time. The hour will come where God by his providence will bring to pass your heart's desire according to his purpose and the right season. All you need to do is to embrace the harvest whatever that God brings your way count it all joy trust in him he's saying the trying of your faith worketh patience he's helping you he's grooming you you come to adoption by the grace of God I want to pray with you, believer. God loves you in spite of your condition. And all will work for your favor. And I say to other believers, don't be more sympathetic than God. To every purpose, there is a time I know you love your children. You love your brothers. You love your sisters. But if somebody is in the training ground with God, let them be. It's good for them. God is watching over them. There is a conference over that life. And the purpose of God will come to pass. Come what may. I'm not going to pray that God removes your condition. I'm going to pray that God help you to understand that to every purpose there is a time. That you can embrace God in whatever condition. In a trial. Outside a trial or about to get into a trial. Embrace God the same way.
for it's only to bring you to that perfect place though you are tested and you are tried yet in the midst of it all you can have a peace of mind for the trying of your faith worketh patience for in your lowest valley he restoreth your soul and he gives you the strength to keep pressing on sometimes you pray saying Lord please take my life well I just can go on I don't know what to do but in that hour you find a juniper tree where the angel comes to strengthen for the journey I had for in your weakness his strength is made perfect and his grace is sufficient for you tried yet in the midst of it all you can have a peace of mind for the trying of your faith it worketh patience for trying to talk in your mind 
tell you that God doesn't love you. He's trying to accuse God. He's trying to blame the Holy Ghost. Saying if God loved you, you wouldn't be in the condition you're in today. I want you to push that devil back and tell him I'm here for a purpose and for every purpose to every purpose there is a time I love my God no matter my condition maybe the devil is telling you that your wife is not good enough your husband doesn't care enough he's telling you that your parents are not considerate they are selfish but you need to respond to the devil tell him that you love your parents tell the devil that you love your wife let the devil know that you love your husband tell him you care for your children no matter the condition tell the devil that condition in my home God allowed it for a purpose I'm not rejected he has not left me he is with me He has promised His never failing presence will be with me all the days of my life. You need to speak back to the devil. He has been talking too much in your life. That's why you are discouraged. That's why you feel low. Because He has made you to look at life from His angle. But God is here to say there is a purpose for your pain. There is a purpose for your birth. Even your background, there is a purpose. The reason you were born is that there is a purpose for the family you came through. There is a purpose. You need to embrace it. You are not less a human being. You are not less a Christian because of your circumstances. There was a conference in heaven that has ordained all these things the way they are. Oh God must receive praise. True worship tonight because of the people that understand. That say it's okay. It's okay. Agree with me in prayer. Gracious Heavenly Father, I want to thank you tonight for your kindness and your generosity. I want to thank you for your word in due season. A word that defeats the devil any place, any time, and any condition. I want to thank you for this word because it's liberating just to think of it that we are not what the devil had said we are. Less privileged, less loved. We are not what the enemy was manipulating us into believing. We are better than the definition that we carried of ourselves. Pardon us for blaming you blaming life, blaming our conditions. Pardon us for blaming the economy, blaming politicians, blaming church leadership and so many things trying to soothe our failures by passing the blame to many things. Forgive us. We are coming today with an understanding that to every purpose there is a time. That we are born for a purpose and our purpose is unique. We are peculiar and there was a conference that was held over our lives. Like Job and any other believer, we also were part of the same lot and portion. That our expression in this designated and decreed season is not coincidental. But it's by your predestination, you pre-planned it. And you saw us walking as pilgrims passing through all the tunnels coming out oh father we are under your divine assessment help us to understand no more murmuring 
but give us the ability to understand your simplicity. That we are also partners in this third and final exodus with the Holy Ghost. That the word may be fulfilled, your purpose be accomplished. Look at all the hearts that are opened. Lives that are dedicated, visible and invisible audience. Oh glorious and precious Lord. It is my prayer and my desire that each and every one of us that are in your presence may be able, Lord, to be restored back to that position where the devil will be fired, evicted from our lives. We've entertained him for too long unnecessarily, but we are not willing to continue entertaining Satan and his demons because he has no part in our lives. He has no part even in our failures. Is no part even in our pain. It is you that allows it. Because when you say no, no man can say yes. All that Job went through is because you opened the way. You allowed it. You permitted it. But what you didn't permit, the devil could not do. And we know Satan is only doing that which is permitted to do. And outside of what you have permitted him, he cannot walk even an inch or a centimeter. And for that reason, he doesn't deserve our credit. He doesn't deserve even our battle because the battle was yours and you overcame before the foundation of the world. Now help us to embrace life and its challenges. To embrace life and what it brings our way. Every stage and every phase. It's not going to be all rosy. Neither will it be the same with every believer. But teach us to be content with our families, with our experiences, and with how you have ordained our lives to be. No man is better than the other because of earthly achievements. But the quality of the spirit and the level of our loyalty within is what makes us better or worse. Now help us to have a hearing ear and a seeing eye that we can identify what matters before you, what counts and what puts a smile on your face. Many times, oh God, we have run in vain, worshipped in vain, prayed in vain, because we didn't take time to listen. We didn't yield to the Holy Ghost. We didn't recognize that worship is an offspring of revelation. We didn't know that we must be swift to hear, slow to speak, and slow to wrath. But now we are thankful that you are teaching us step by step, even tonight. Oh God, I pray that you may open up floodgates of heaven and let your revelation reign. You spoke about a man with wisdom, divine wisdom. That is what we require. I want to thank you, oh God, even for the request that's been brought from Sister Chilizi, the toothache and the headache and the pain that she's in. Dear God, we are connecting to her, even Lord Jesus, via this live streaming, that you may be able to undertake for her and grant her even healing for the glory of your kingdom. You have promised in your word, and we know you cannot fail. We want to pray also from, for a sister that has brought, you know, his husband, Daniel, and the two adult children. Father, you know exactly what is happening in their lives. And you know why the dear sister has brought the request. Father, may you honor her faith and the acknowledgement that if we pray as your bride with one heart and one faith, you are going to hear our prayers. May you hear our prayer over her life. May you hear our prayer, O oh God, over her family for the glory of your kingdom. Oh, we are really grateful tonight for all that you've done for us. May your word find a place of eternal habitation in us that we may see it material and alive in our everyday life. As we've come to the end of our service, may you continue to minister to us and help us to understand what we go through in life that we may see Christ in everything that we do. 
we commit all in your hands. And we thank you. And everybody say Amen. Praise be to God. So give a hand of praise. Raise it up a little bit. Raise it a semitone high. by faith and not by sight our eyes look to the unseen the Lord Jesus Christ for he has promised that we will reign By the pathway to glory is through suffering. Count it, O oh joy, when you fall in diverse temptation, for it's only to bring us to that perfect place though we are tested and we are tried yet in the midst of it all we can have a peace of mind for the trying the 
for trying or for fame, it worketh patience. For in a lower span, here is torrent my soul, and he came in. strength to keep pressing oh as we worship him and give him a hand of praise though we are tested and we are tried yet in the midst of it all we can have a peace of mind oh give him praise somebody give him praise Knowing that the trying of our faith worketh patience. He deserves it. Amen and amen and amen. Praise be to God. Blessed be his holy name. Amen and amen. What an atmosphere. May the dear Lord bless you friends. We've come to the end of our service tonight. How many have enjoyed? How many have been positioned? It's so wonderful. Praise God. You know, you know, there's some places when God speaks. You, you don't see a great man or a small man. There is no rich or poor. You, you, you feel like we, he puts us upon the same pedestal. We become the same. How, how many feel what I'm talking about? Now, how many see what you're talking about? You, you just feel like we are the same. You know, you don't feel like I'm better than this one. May the Lord bless you. Let's give another hand of praise. Amen and amen. Brother Takuzo is saying, um, Shalom, beloved saints. I would like to appreciate the prayers of the saints for the healing of my eyes. Let God be praised. Praise the Lord. Let's give hand a praise. Amen. Is that sister Ndicheni there? Yeah. God bless you. How are you? Good to have you in service. Sister Ndicheni, sister Mashamba's little sister. We're happy to have him. Let's give a hand of praise. Praise the Lord. We've come to the end of our service. God richly bless you, invisible audience. Till we meet again on Friday. We want to rise to our feet and take this song on my knees. How many are saying, Lord, you won't find me murmuring, complaining. You meet me on my knees when you come. Is that right? In prayer, in adoration, in worship, when you come, you will find me there. How many want to say that? Let's rise to our feet. Time has come. Time has come. Can you give a volume, brother?
every day, even today, this Tuesday, you believe it. Lord, I believe that they were true. 
time I've read the scripture. I've read the scriptures in the Bible. I'm all the mighty Gentile warriors. The painful desire of Vanna. And the fearless move of Esther. Lord, I believe that they were true. Oh, to meet again. 